What's going on guys, Idle Freak here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a Vite React application to GitHub Pages. First we're going to need an IDE, my choice will be VS Code. You're also going to need a GitHub account. So let's start off by going to GitHub and let's make a new repository. I'll name this tutorial. And then don't choose a license or ignore for now. Um, let's just create the repository with nothing else. When we do that, it'll give us our uh, remote origin, um, so we don't have to go and find that later on. So now that we have that, let's go back to VS Code and open up a terminal. Let's cd to um, whatever folder you would like to use. I use my GitHub pages, or I use my GitHub folder for it. Um, so I'll go to documents, GitHub, and then I will make a directory here called tutorial. Just cd to that tutorial folder. And now in here, we are gonna type npm create at, or sorry, byte at latest. And this will install the latest version of byte for us. Press Y to proceed. Let's name our project tutorial. Go down to React because we're making a React app. We'll choose JavaScript. And now we're done. Next, we're already in our folder, so we don't need to CD there. Or actually, sorry, yes, we do. Um, so inside of that folder we made, it's going to create a new directory. And inside of this directory is where all of our files are going to be located. So let's run npm install. Let that finish. Next, let's install GitHub pages. Perfect. So now we have everything installed. All we have to do now is um, edit our config a little bit. So let's open up that folder that we just created by going to here. Or, sorry. And you'll see it auto creates a lot of different files for us. Um, and the ones we're really going to be wanting to pay attention here are the package lock or sorry, just the package.json. Um, and then also, we're going to want to uh, edit this vite.config.js. Everything else we can ignore for now. Um, so yeah, let's go into the package.json. And from here, we're going to have to add a new line at the top above name. We're going to call it homepage. And this is where you will type out your entire github.io um, slash your react project. So I'll show you for me. My username is mediocre. So I'll type that. Um, don't forget to put HTTPS. And then it's dot github dot io forward slash your project name. Once you're done with that, you're good for the home page part. Next, we'll have to go down to the scripts section and add in two scripts. So we'll start at the top above dev. We're going to type in pre-deploy. So this will run before our application deploys. And we're just going to want it to go and do npm run build. After we pre-deploy, we're going to need a script for the deploy. And that will just be, oops. GitHub pages slash D this. And then we'll need a comma after that. All right. And once you've done that, we're completely done with this file. Um, we will only need to do one more thing, and that is go to our byte.config.js. And right above plugins, we're going to add in a base. And what this is, is it will just be your um, your project's name. So forward slash tutorial forward slash. And 
then don't forget the comma. And after you've done that, we are actually done. Um, we're going to have to initiate the GitHub repository inside of here. So let's open back up our terminal, new terminal, make sure we're in our directory. And we are just going to type git init. You might have to go and install git. I think you can just search install git and right here. Um, and once you've done that, go and initialize it, initialize empty repository. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add all of our files to that repository with just one command, git dot, or git add dot. Once that's done, we're going to have to commit our changes. So let's type git commit dash m and then type in these quotes what you want the commit to be labeled as. So I will write initial commit. So after that, let's branch it by typing git branch dash capital M main. Then let's go and grab our remote repository that we got after we created our repository in GitHub. And actually, we can just copy this line right here. This is what we're going to need to paste. Once you've done that, we can push so let's just copy that and paste it here. And finally, let's deploy it. npm run deploy, that'll run through. And once that finishes, we will actually be online. So let's go check our GitHub, go to the actions tab and we can see when this is done. So once this completes, our pages will um, be online. We can check that from the settings page. So go to settings, pages, and once it's online, you'll be able to access it from here. So let's go back to actions and we'll wait. It doesn't take too long. So let's go back to the pages and you'll see it is online. So if we click visit site, we'll see our Vite React application, no errors in the console. And yeah, that's it.